Hello everyone. We already know in case of current carrying straight conductor, the magnetic field lines are formed in concentric circles around the current carrying conductor and these lines do not intersect each other and they are equidistant from each other. Applying the right hand thumb rule, we can say the direction of magnetic field in this case is anti-clockwise direction. Now let's try to find out answers to certain questions you might have. What happens if we change the direction of the current? So if we reverse the direction of current, the direction of the magnetic field also gets reversed and you can apply the right hand rule and verify this yourself. In this case, the direction of magnetic field is in clockwise direction and in this case, the direction of magnetic field is in anti-clockwise direction. What happens if we increase the current through a straight conductor? If we increase the current through a straight conductor, the magnetic field would be stronger and larger. This means if we keep a compass near the current carrying conductor and then increase the current, then the deflection of compass needle will also increase because stronger magnetic field is there. Also, what about if an object is kept near the conductor? We see the magnetic field increases as the object is closer to the conductor and the magnetic field decreases as the object moves away from the conductor and they are equidistant from each other. So to sum up what we learnt about current carrying straight conductor, the magnitude of magnetic field increases with increase in electric current and decreases with decrease in electric current. The magnitude of magnetic field produced by electric current de decreases with increase in distance from the conductor and vice versa. So an object placed closer to the conductor will experience stronger magnetic field. Whereas when the object is placed far away from the conductor it will experience weaker magnetic field. And coming to the direction of magnetic field, the direction of magnetic field through a current carrying conductor depends upon the direction of flow of electric current. So, the direction of magnetic field lines get reversed if the direction of current is reversed. In the next lesson, we shall learn the pattern of magnetic field created by a circular loop rather than a straight conductor. That's all for now. Bye-bye.